morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Again, walking the beach and talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life. Of course, amazing Bitcoin charts, guys. Four of them. A beautiful Bitcoin trading tip. Of course, also uh, some live advice. Of course, the news. Yes, what more do I need to share with you on this beautiful day again here on Phuket Beach in Thailand? Waking up like this is amazing. I know you were briefly distracted again by the beautiful opening of me. Mm -hmm. Of that, what was walking over there, of course. Uh, but let's jump into the charts. Let's see what Bitcoin is doing today. The first chart for the day, guys, of course, that daily chart, guys, zooming a little bit out already from the beginning. Um, let's see. Yeah, Bitcoin is finding its uh, position there around the 34K level, guys. Uh, we can see that green line uh, nearing that red line more and more, which means that we will see a golden bullish cross very soon, guys. Because often these golden crosses and uh, the death crosses, they are a little bit lagging behind. So we already had a run and that's why the cross happens now. But it does mean that it becomes way more difficult for Bitcoin price to go down below that golden cross level. And that level is around that 28,900 US dollar now. So if that will cross, yeah, it will become more difficult for Bitcoin to go way down below 30K. Now, that is the only short-term chart, guys. Let's zoom out and look at these charts. On this chart, guys, it's a Bybit and Binance BTC seven-day chart. You can see the liquidation levels heat map. So this is the levels where people will be getting liquidated. And we can see that there is a shitload of liquidations there around that 35K level and a little bit higher, that greenish area. So that is an area that we are gonna try to reach to be liquidating a lot of people. That's just how this industry works. But we can see also massive levels around the 24K level. Does it also mean we will fall back all the way to the 24K level? That's the biggest question at the moment. I believe we will first go a little bit more up. I really believe we could even go to 40,000 US dollar, maybe even 42,000 dollar before we see this pullback again to maybe these 30K levels. I personally don't see us falling back to 24K levels. I think a lot of people are waiting for that but they won't get satisfied because I don't think that we will fall there. On the next chart, you can see again a beautiful representation what happened to gold, to the gold price, when the gold spot ETF was approved in November 2004. I shared this chart yesterday as well, but this chart is a little bit more clear. Uh, it was shared by Tommy Mustache, really good uh, Twitter account to follow as well. But you can see that the price went like almost times five from that moment. But that took in total almost 14 years, 2004 all the way to 2019. So don't think that the Bitcoin price now directly will increase and met tremendously, but there will be a part in this video where I talk about the news that shows you what the expectations are of the Bitcoin price um, after the spot approval in the first year. Now, on this beautiful chart, guys, you can see the Bitcoin gain after each major crash. So yes, we crashed from 60, 8,790 all the way to 16k with 77% but how much are we going to increase from that crash that's the question so we can see that we already increased from 3k to 68k that was almost a 2,000% increase the time before we increased from $117 to 20k that was 11,000% increase and the time before that was $2 to $1,200 it was 56,000% increase so how big is this increase going to be the next time? The next time I'm talking about the increase from that new bottom, 15,600, to that new price in the bull market top. Very interesting table. Pause it if you want to analyze it a little bit more. But yeah, I expect again a huge crash after that bull market top. And that could be only 70%, for example, but still it will be a crash. And if that bull market top will be above 100k and we crash with 70 percent that would mean we will never go down below 30,000 euros dollar per bitcoin again and that is why i've been telling you for the last couple of months everything that you can buy below 30k is a cheap price to buy because it might be the last opportunity ever in your life to buy bitcoin below 30k but with this chart guys i just want to prepare you guys uh, for the future prepare you for that massive bull run that is going to come and I want to educate you that these bull runs will not go without emotions 
You might think, ah, I will just sit there and wait till the Bitcoin price goes to the top and it will sell. I know that you are thinking that, but I also know that will change very quickly when we see the first 38% drop. And this is the bull run of 2017 where we can see that we had a shitload of these drops of above 30%. I think it was in total eight of these drops. So I know how these emotions are playing around with your mind when it goes into these steep increases in price. Because before every 38% uh, drop, there will be a 100% increase in price, for example. Hell, or a 50% increase in price. And then you will be very euphoric and then we will fall at 38% and you think, oh shit, the bull market is over, I will sell. And then bam, it pumps again with 50%. And then you think, oh shit, I missed a trade. And you buy at that pump and then it dumps again at 40 years. And you sell again, you make loss again. So these emotions are going to be part of this whole, throughout this whole bull market. And you need to be aware of that. The moment you become aware that this is a game and the move that Bitcoin always makes, that is the moment you will make a shitload of profit and you will have very strong hands and you will not be selling into the pockets of, for example, BlackRock that now wants to buy all your Bitcoins. Very important chart. On this table, guys, you can see all the spot ETFs that now requested approval. Just look at the dates, just look at the names. I'm not going to analyze them all for you, but you can pause the video and check all those dates over here. So you can see that it's very close to a lot of approvals that need to be approved or denied, guys. I do believe that BlackRock is going to be approved and that's why it's already listed on certain websites. But you know, all these others also have the chance to be approved, which will lead even into more liquidity coming into the market. It's a very important part of Bitcoin's history at the moment. And I'm not completely agreeing with this history. You know my opinion about spot ETFs, but then again, it will pump your bags of Bitcoin and also will pump the value of my bags of Bitcoin. But still, it is going to disrupt the Bitcoin fundamentals, in my honest opinion. But I made a lot of videos about that already, so watch one of the old videos if you want to see my opinion about that. Wow, I needed to go into the shade, guys, because uh, the telephone was heating. Um, so that were the charts for the day, guys. I hope you really enjoyed those charts. Again, it's very important in Bitcoin that you understand that bigger picture of Bitcoin, guys. And you need to be prepared for those emotions that I just told you. This bull market is not going to be this easy, slow carnival ride. This is going to be a roller coaster ride for your emotions. You will feel ups and you will feel downs. The thing that you need to do is huddle strong. If you want to trade this bull market, be my guest. Trade the bull market. Sell at those local tops. Buy back at these local bottoms. If you can do that, do it. If you can't do that, store your Bitcoin safely just somewhere on a beautiful hardware ledger. Wait for the market to tell you that the top was in, which will probably be somewhere in the end of 2025 and 2026 and 7 will be the bear market bottoms again. So sell around the top from the levels of 70,000, 80,000, 90,000, start to dollar cost average out and just wait for the Bitcoin price to crash and to buy back at the bottom. That is the most easy play if you don't want to be affected by all the emotions that you will normally have throughout these bull markets. And I have been now to three complete bull markets, guys. I know what I'm talking about. I know these emotions might sound now to you like, ah, I'm not going to be affected. If you're new to this market, you will be affected. You will see what it will do to you. But I'm here to prepare you for these emotions. And when these emotions and these moments will happen in this bull market, I will be there also to coach you through those guys. But to be always reminded that you need to watch my videos, you need to now subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Let's jump into the next part, the trading tip. Okay, for the first part of the video, I didn't hook up the mic. I don't know what I did. I forgot to attach the cable. Uh, hopefully the sound is now a little bit better. Um, but uh, the trading tip for today, guys, is a very simple one. Always use a stop loss, a trailing stop loss or a take profit level, guys. So, for example, when you go to sleep and you're in the long, you know, and you're afraid that you might miss out of the profit, then use a trailing stop loss. If the Bitcoin in price is like, say, from 30,000 to 35,000 and your trailing stop loss is like 10%, then on that moment, 
at 35,000 US dollar, the trailing stop loss increased to 10% below the level of 35,000 US dollar. So it starts when you go to bed at 10% below, for example, 30,000 US dollar, and then when the price goes to 35,000 US dollar, the stop loss is 10% below that level. So you don't miss out on the profits while you're sleeping. And yes, if it does crash back, then you will be stopped out, but you take profit at that moment. So the trailing stop loss is a very powerful tool. I use it very often when I don't have the time to watch the charts and I'm trading and I need to do other stuff. I use a trading stop loss. When the Bitcoin price increases, the stop loss increases. And when it takes a profit, I'm always happy because the profit is always there. So that was a trading tip for today. Always use a stop loss or a take profit or more preferable, even a trailing stop loss. You can do this, of course, on Bybit. Bybit has the trailing stop loss possibility. If you want to use Bybit and sign up using my referral link down below. And yes, it's still possible to join the lucky draw over there. You can win an iPhone 15 or 850 other prizes. Use the links down below. I'm not working my ass off for nothing every day here on the beach. You should like give me a little bit back. Use my links to buy big. Sign up now. I mean it. Come on, sign up. <laughs> now, that was the trading tip for today, guys. Which also leads to the travel tip for today, guys, because um, that also has to do a little bit with buy big. If you travel, I would always recommend to have a couple of debit cards with you. Not just one credit card or one bank card, if you still have a bank but a couple of debit cards and credit cards. Because in some countries, Visa is not accepted and the other one is Master is not accepted. So have different options. Now, you know that I'm using Crypto.com's one, which is a Visa debit card. Bybit has a Master card debit card. So if you sign up to Bybit using the link down below, then you will be able to claim your Bybit debit card. And then all the funds that are in your funding account on Bybit, you can spend with a debit card all over the world where MasterCard is accepted. For example, I've tried it here at the 7-Eleven, does work. I tried it at the McDonald's, it does work. I tried it to book something online, it does work. This master debit card of Bybit, this Bitcoin master debit card, is working all over the world. So if you want to have that to take onto your next trip, then make sure you sign up to Bybit, guys. That's not the second time today that I tell you to sign up to Bybit because I believe it's the best exchange out there. It is the exchange for the next bull run to be in. Don't be in all those scammy other exchanges. Bybit is a trustable exchange out there since 2017 already, doing a great job. Sponsor of Formula One, Max Verstappen, Red Bull team, also the number one. So um, be aware whenever you travel, always have different ways of spending available. Debit cards, credit cards, even bank cards, if you have still banks. And yes, for example, also a little bit of cash. That was the travel tip for today. Yes, I like to play around with the camera wall angle, guys. Yeah, it makes it a little bit more fun for me. Uh, the news for today is that Galaxy is predicting that the Bitcoin price will go up with 75% in the first year after the spot ETF will be approved. So that would bring Bitcoin to over 59,000 US dollars from this level if the spot ETF will be approved like within this area of 35K. So Galaxy is predicting this based on uh, different numbers. You can see them over here. Um, and these numbers are showing you how that other assets reacted on a spot approval. So they now say if the Bitcoin spot ETF will be approved, then the first year after that approval, we will raise in total with 75% all the way up to almost 60,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, guys. even maybe a little bit higher, guys. That's very positive news. From Galaxy guys. So there's a lot of news there about that spot ETF but this is the first news that comes out with a hard number that we could target if the spot ETF will be approved. What is your opinion about the spot ETF? Do you really believe that we will increase with 75% just because of the approval in the first year or do you believe that we will increase way more like I just showed you on these beautiful charts uh, that compared again to gold when the spot ETF of gold was approved. Let me know down below. Let's jump into the next part. Let's jump into the question for today, guys. It was a question by the follower down below the video and it was, uh, Didi, if I start to travel the world, should I keep my Bitcoin on an exchange? Should I keep my Bitcoin on a hardware wallet? 
And if I travel with that hardware wallet, or if I travel, should I take that hardware wallet with me? So the answer to that question is, if you have your hardware wallet with you, you can always lose it, you can be robbed, and there's many other options or things that can happen to you. So I would never take the hardware wallet with you. We also don't have our hardware wallets with us. I'm lying, I have like one hardware wallet with us, but that's like a little bit Bitcoin on it, but that's just like to show around and to play around with. But our core capital is of course, while we're traveling on hardware wallets, but those hardware wallets are not near us, guys. What you can have with you is, for example, um, your seed phrase. You know, the 12 words or the 24 words. And maybe you can split them even up. Maybe you can store 12 words somewhere in a beautiful um, online safe environment or encrypt it first into other words and then, stay or, and then store that in a safe environment. And the other 12 words, maybe you can divide between you and your wife. Six words your wife, six words you. So you always need three things to complete that sequence. You need your part of the six words, you need your wife's part of the six words, and then you need the encrypted part that is stored somewhere online of those 12 words. Something like that would be more safe, in my honest opinion, than having the hardware wallet with you. Because you never know what might happen. And I'm talking about my experience because we are out there. Look, we are known, we, we, we show that we travel, we show the locations that we are. So for us, it's a way more important to have that security. If you're like a very anonymous person and, not be, and nobody knows about you having Bitcoins, then it doesn't matter. Then you can even have your hardware wallet with you. But still, it's not the safest way. And it's very important that you store those words separate all from each other, guys. Because if you don't do that and they will find your paper with 24 words written on it and they know what a Bitcoin wallet is, they can import your wallet into a new hardware device that they control. So be aware that you always protect those words in the right way. Store them in different kind of ways when you travel. That was the travel tip for today. So that was a lot of Bitcoin talk today, guys. Now let's talk a little bit more about life. Everyone is always searching for their main reason of life. And I really think that the core reason to live is to be happy or to find happiness. And it's very easy for me to speak about that when I'm walking here to the beautiful beach in Phuket and you might think, ah, yeah, it's easy for you to talk about it, happiness, you don't need to work, you're just walking the beach, you're talking a thing. Guys, like I'm also working every day. Yesterday I was working almost all day because we needed to approve all the new documentary episodes and all that stuff. So I needed to watch them like 10 times. I got sick of myself, my wife and my kids seeing ourselves so big on the screen every time again and again and again. So it's always working. But that work, what I'm doing is making me very happy. I'm very happy with the things that I'm doing every day. And I think that's the most important part of um, life. And I already talked about that yesterday when I told you guys you should tie happiness to goals and not to materialistic stuff. But I really think that the main goal for life should be finding your happiness. And everyone has the possibility to do that in their own way, of course, but everyone can do it. It's not a special talent. It's just taking the time for yourself to find out where your true happiness comes from. Everyone can do it. You can do it as well. There are moments in your life that you really feel happiness. You feel the happiness through all your body. Just analyze what you were doing on those moments. For example, if you went to Spain to visit a local market or to work on a local market, and when you were working on the local market and those interactions with all the people were really making you happy, were giving you that really beautiful happiness feeling all through your body, then that thing is making you happy. That should be the thing that you would be doing every day. Not flying back to the Netherlands to sit in an office job in a cube behind a computer and do the typing job all day. That doesn't make you happy, that, but it makes you tired. Every day when you come home, you feel oh, exhausted. Oh, tomorrow again. That is not happiness. When you're really happy, you will feel it through all your body. You just feel it. It's like a tintling feeling like, wow, this is so beautiful. I wish I could feel this always. And that is exactly what you should focus on to get that feeling as much as possible. And if there are things in your current life that are distracting you from having that feeling, then stop those things. 
and again, you now think, ah, Didi, it's easy for you to talk. You have your Bitcoins. You didn't need to quit your job. Yes, I did. I gave up my companies. Woman also gave up her job. We also gave up all of that stuff to take that big leap to go into Bitcoin. And that it was a very successful step now, yes, I agree. So it makes it more easy for me now. But I was also there on that moment where you are now. I was stuck into the system. I was brainwashed in the 90s that only big jobs, big companies, big houses and big cars would lead to happiness. I was running that hamster wheel even harder probably than you are running it now when I was doing it seven years ago. And I didn't believe that I could get out. And I didn't believe I could run out that hamster wheel or that cage, that golden cage. I couldn't even dream of that possibility at that moment because I was stuck and I needed people like me telling you now. At that time, I needed people to tell me on their YouTube videos, on the news, in the books that I read, everything is possible in life. Happiness should be your core goal. And then when I took the step and I really experienced full hardcore happiness for the first time that I was like, this is the feeling that I had in the youth when I went, walked onto the football pitch. I felt completely happy. When I felt that feeling with just normal life things, then I understood it was the right step that I took. So it was not easy for us as well. That's just what I want to say. And I know it's not easy for you now to, for example, quit your job because you need money. Everyone needs money. That's why we sold the house. We took the overvalue. We sold our cars. We took all that money. We sold the motorbikes. We sold everything we owned. We took our pension funds. We took our savings. We also needed money at that moment to do that step. And that's how we did it. So I truly believe that that is possible for everyone out there. And I know that a lot of people did take the same step now, this bull market. They sold their house already a year ago. They went all in, all in Bitcoin, they trusted what I told them, and they are going to enjoy this amazing bull run, and by that also become a little bit more financial independent, which makes it more easy for them, again, to come closer to that goal of happiness. Now, guys, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about all the charts? What do you think about everything else? And sorry for the sound in the beginning. I forgot to connect the cable, but uh, I won't do it again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing Friday, an amazing weekend. Saturday, I will do an English AMA, and I will not forget this week. I will do an English AMA, and Sunday, a Dutch AMA. Enjoy your weekend, and see you probably tomorrow again. Ben.